bills in Congress turn on the heat. Multiple bills are introduced in the U.S. Congress in January 2017. The raging questions inside these bills are simple and lethal, they cut to the heart of the current debate, how many years have you studied? Have you studied exactly that subject in which you claim you are highly skilled? How many years can an H-1B worker legally remain in the U.S.? How many ways are H-1B shops circumventing the rules? Sean Spicer's H-1B visa remarks set the stage. This is what started it all, Trump Press Secretary Sean Spicer's pointed remarks during a White House briefing, with respect to H-1Bs and other visas, it's part of a larger immigration reform effort that the president will continue to talk about through executive order and through working with Congress. Employment Authorization for H-4 on Thin Ice For H-4 visa holders who can neither write code nor are fashion models, that's how Melania Trump came to the U.S. on an H-1B, being the spouse of an H-1B worker just got a lot more complicated, all this less than two years after the Barack Obama government let them pursue paid work in the U.S. in 2015. Anti-immigrant group Save Jobs USA wants the government to dial back the H-4 work authorization. They have been against this visa's increasing heft ever since the benefit was conferred on certain category of H-4 workers in 2015. On February 1, 2017 the Department of Justice filed a petition in the court titled Consent Motion to Hold Proceedings in Abeyance for 60 Days. Premium Processing Ends, 6-Month Freeze Likely H-1B premium processing went into deep freeze starting April 3, 2017 and the suspension may last likely at least six months which means almost the entire remaining months in 2017 are practically ruled out for H-1B workers trying to push through extensions at a faster pace for a higher, premium, payout. Easier for whistleblowers there's a new email ID, ripperth one babuse at hussies.dhs.gov that is headlining the U.S. Homeland Security Watchdog's homepage for whistleblowers to report on H-1B fraud. As the news tightens around H-1B body shops that are playing on their ability to circumvent rules, the USIS is tightening the screws to the limit and has now announced that it will conduct random site inspections to identify employers who are abusing the system.